Earthpen. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about power. But before we begin the discussion, if you would like to encourage us to produce more educational content, please show your support by giving a like to the video and subscribing to our channel. You can also help our team grow with your monetary support through our donation PayPal link located in the description below. Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and all other superheroes has power. We all wanted to be superheroes so that we can have power, right? But did you know that the word power has different meaning in the physics world? So what is power in the world of physics? Power is the rate at which the work is done. So the idea is just like this. Imagine there are two people. They both have the same amount of work, but one person finishes the work faster than the other one. So the person who finished the work first has the higher power output. So basically, the power is just the ratio of the amount of work done and the time it takes to do that work. The unit of power is what? So what is what? What is just joule over second? Joule is the unit of work and second is the unit of time. So if you have one watt, it is equal to one joule over one second. Now suppose this light bulb is a 25 watt light bulb. This means that this light bulb converts 25 joules of energy into the light every second. So 25 joule per second is 25 watt. So always remember, the higher the wattage, the more energy is converted, the brighter the bulb. Now to make it a little bit interesting, let me give you a simple example. Suppose you have two light bulbs. Light bulb 1 uses 1200 joules over 20 seconds and light bulb 2 uses 1500 joules over 40 seconds. Which light bulb is more powerful? So by applying the formula, our equations will look like this. Light bulb 1 has a power of 60 watts and light bulb 2 has a power of 40 watts. Therefore, we can conclude that light bulb 1 is more powerful than light bulb 2. Here's another example. Jack is driving a car. While driving, he suddenly saw a dog crossing the street. So Mike immediately stopped the car. 10,000 joules of work is done by the brake in a time of 4 seconds. Calculate the power of the brake. Now let's take a look what are the given in the problem. 10,000 joules of work and a time of 4 seconds are given in the problem. So now that we know what are the given in the problem, we can now calculate the power. So the power is equal to 2,500 watts. Now look at this another problem. I encourage you to pause this video first and try to answer this problem. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Both of them exerted a work of 100 joules and arrived at the top of the hill at 10 seconds. Calculate the power. Did you answer the problem? Now let's take a look if you got the correct answer. In the problem, work and time are given. Therefore, we can now calculate the power. And so the final answer is 10 watts. Did you get it right? Comment down below. Before we end this video, let's have a quick trivia. Did you know that to launch a space shuttle rocket, it requires a power of around 12 billion watts? Amazing, right? So that's it guys. I hope you learned a lot about power. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.